Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Kick it into Christmas, New Year's, Hanukkah, I believe today. Whatever you're celebrating, make it a great one, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Knock it off! Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 116, NASDAQ up 26, S&P's up 2.5, gold contract up $8.40, trading at 1489 an ounce. We got silver up 27 cents, $17.49 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 21 cents, $60.65 a barrel. Notes and bonds. We get the 10 year down three ticks, 128.04, the 30 year off nine at 155.31. And King Dollar, King Dollar down 30 ticks trading at 97.660. The Euro is at 110. The Yen is at 109.37. And the Pound is at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One note's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? We're going to the future market first. What you're going to see, you hit another all-time high out here today. Bottom line on Friday, he had quad witching, option expiration, monster volume came in the marketplace. The S&Ps today hit uh, 32.34, and we're at uh, 32.28 right now. You're going to get light volume out here, no doubt. Uh, bottom line, holiday trading. You, you can't expect volume to come back in this market, folks, until uh, realistically almost uh, probably January 6th. Uh, January 6th is the Monday, so pitchy. We get Christmas uh, this Wednesday. We have a half a day tomorrow. Close the, markets close at 1 o'clock uh, tomorrow. Open back up Thursday. New Year's is the following Wednesday. Uh, it is a full market day on New Year's Eve, but the bottom line is that traders are away from their desk. So I suspect what you're going to see, uh, you'll continue to see an inching up inside of the marketplace. Oil. Let's go take a look at that oil contract right now. CL. Let's see. Where are we? CLH, maybe? Nope. G. Okay, so we got $60.64. The high today is $60.77. The low is $60.10. Yeah, you get a sideways move. Anything staying away. So the benchmark of this is going to be back on September 16th, folks. That's the day that the, uh, was well, the day after the Saudi oil fields uh, got bombed. And that's when it had opened up and hit a high of $60.37. You stay over 60.37, guess what? You can go higher. You pull back underneath it, and then that will go right back down the other range. So and right now, basically, it is staying over it. Notes and bonds. Now, it's going to get interesting in the note and bond market because this is what we have inside the note and bond market. If we do the 10-year first, what you're going to see is this. Last week, we came down hard and fast, and you had, well, we, let's see, let's, uh, we did it the prior week. Yeah, the prior week, we had come down hard and fast. December 12th, you got to 128.05, you did 2.5 million contracts. The 13th, you did 2.7 million. You got down on the low out here at 127.29. We tested that area last week with dramatically lighter volume. We tested with 1.2 and 800,000. Now, what you have is this, is that today you got up to a price point of 128.12. You only have 540,000 contracts. You're right now below the highs of Friday, and that's saying, guess what? You're going to go down and test these bottoms once again. And what I want to see in particular is I want to see a test of those bottoms before January 6th. Why? Because it's going to be hard to get volume in the market before that. 30-year set up the exact same way. 30-year, you know, we had come down with uh, 480,000 as well as 577. We tested with 253,000 and 192. Today, 
Got to a higher price, couldn't hold price. That's saying it's going to come right back at you. And um, I expect when I say right back at you, that'll be tomorrow morning. And I'd love to see it actually uh, test tomorrow morning. We, well, you want to test and reject. Um, that, that's how it's set up. Gold contracts. What do we have with the gold contract? So gold contract as well as silver definitely caught a bit here. Gold, 151,000 contracts, which is not bad. Bottom line, holding price in a huge way. We're at 1489.50. This thing looks like it's going to make the run up to this 1525. And if we go into the actual equities, what you're going to see in the equities, the equities today are moving. Each and every one of them are moving pretty well. Uh, the GDX is up 80 cents, trading 27.75, and the top of this range is at uh, 27.49. The XAU and HUI, they took off like a jackrabbit. Uh, bottom line, you get the XAU up $3.48. That's trading $101.04. Now, this is going after the highs of August of 2019, which is 102.29, and the Gold Bugs Index also... Uh, up right now, seven dollars and twenty-six cents. Nice move. This is going after the high of two thirty-seven. Right now, you're two twenty-six. Some of the higher volume equities today. There's going to be a low volume market out here, no doubt. Um, let's see what we have here. Okay, so you have Advanced Micro up a dollar thirty-eight. Micron Tech's up fifty-two. You get Intel up 40, uh, fifty-one cents. Apple. Apple's pushing away from the consolidated high that it's been in, you have, uh, well, I guess, guess it's going to push more. Apple's been trading about 281 almost every day for the last five days. They get 284.12 right now, so that's a big number. Boeing. Boeing's got a new CEO out here as, as of this morning. Uh, Boeing come up, try to fill the gap on the way down, which is $341.10. You made 340 you're doing that with uh, 8 million shares. Well, this thing blew lower with the 16 million. Boeing is not done going down. Boeing still wants lower price. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 116, NASDAQ up 25, S&P's up 1.5. Come right back.